very important to start a day with long walk in fresh air. Waking up early every morning is extremely hard for me, but I push myself and never actually regret it. Those walks outside help me so much in kicking off my days on a positive note. I used to wake up and start thinking about my daily work tasks, answering emails and comments, falling into a routine and never actually coming out of it until I hit the pillow again at night. I was so exhausted, but this helps me to recharge. Every day I start fresh, relaxed, new ideas come easy, no project feels overwhelming anymore. I came across this competition by Gronda Culinary App, or I'd rather say a culinary community, by accident actually. I was going through my Instagram feed and saw this short video of bread making from Enigma restaurant by famous chef Albert Adria. By that time, I was a fan. I've seen a chef's table doku about him and of course, just like anyone else in the culinary world, I was very much aware of his work in El Bulli. I didn't do much of the molecular cuisine previously. I knew some basics, but I only did uh, the El Bulli olive once before in my career, nothing else. So I had to do my research, a lot of research. It was a challenge afterwards. Even if the recipe is given, it's not as easy as it seems. And I was not wrong about that. It took me two days, eight hours, and four attempts to make it right. Sometimes I get overwhelmed with creative ideas, and in this project it was no different. Even before starting to test out the original recipe, I came up with several presentation ideas. Only one worked at the end, of course. What was really very frustrating was the gathering of the ingredients. What's kuzu? Where to find it? I found several types of kuzu. All were, of course, not readily accessible and expensive. I had to order them online, pay extra for delivery and wait for weeks to get it. I could not buy all the types of kuzu. I had to make a guess what type would serve my purpose in this project. Recipe tasting took me days. The first attempt was a total failure. At the beginning, I didn't take this recipe as serious as I should have. I used different type of starch and that was wrong. According to the recipe provided, the process takes about two hours. That's not a quick trying failure. I was really disappointed after the first attempt, but I'm not a quitter. I knew I had to try again. The same night, I walked to my neighborhood food store purchased the correct type of starch and did the recipe again. At 1 a.m. after another two hours of cooking, this crystal bread was still a mess. This recipe was not working. Next day, after another morning walk with my dog and a session of internet search, I knew what to do. I was certain of my success. I tried the recipe again, now using a bit different formula. I also knew by then that most of my presentation ideas would simply not work with this bread structure. I had to cross them out. But there was one left that would be perfect. It suited the bread structure and also paid respect to the whole Catalan spirit of Enigma concept. Traditional pan con tamat, or simply bread with tomatoes. When I lived in Barcelona, it was an absolute must-have appetizer, served in every tapas bar in Catalonia. Originally, I wanted to prep the tomatoes in a traditional way, but then, when there was just this presentation option left, it hit me. 
that I need to make it in a sort of a molecular gastronomy way as well. So I made the tomato caviar with some soy sauce droplets to add some seasoning to this dish. The result was amazing, so much better than I had expected. I was ecstatic. That was one of the most challenging projects that I had taken on so far. In the end, I had to cook it for three and a half hours instead of two and use a bit different formula to make it work in my home oven. But it was totally worth it. <laughs> 